Suppose you need to make 50 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of something like sodium hydroxide. You could calculate how many moles you need and how many grams you need, and then weigh it out. And then you go open the glassware cabinet and you have all these choices. You have beakers and flasks, volumetric flasks, graduated cylinders, and so on. But does it really matter which piece of glassware you use? Yes, yes it does. <laughs> Turns out, not all glassware is created equally when it comes to accuracy and precision, and the choice that you make is critical to your success. Some glassware is made for preparing solutions accurately, some glassware is made for dispensing pre-made solutions accurately, and others are not really worth your time unless you don't really care about your accuracy and you just need to dissolve something. Let's start with basic measurements of volume, which is critical for making solutions accurately. Each piece of glassware has little markings on it which indicate the volume you would have if you filled it up to that line. You would think that they would all be correct, right? Because somebody made it and somebody put it out there for us to use. Sadly, they're not all correct. And if you use the incorrect one, you're going to get an incorrect solution. And also, if you're taking a class such as AP Chemistry, you're going to be asked questions about laboratory procedure and which glassware is the most appropriate to be used. So let's learn. Let's do a test. I have here some glassware. I've got a graduated cylinder, a volumetric flask, a beaker, and an Erlenmeyer flask, and even a volumetric pipette. We'll get to that a little bit later. Each of them tells me that I can measure something to 50 milliliters. And so that's what I wanna do. I wanna measure 50 milliliters of water and put it in each one of these and see how much it weighs. Since the density of water is ridiculously close to one gram per milliliter, then the mass of the samples of water should be very, very close to 50 grams. I do this first by weighing the piece of glassware empty and then tearing the balance so that it returns to zero. Then I take water and fill it up as carefully as I can to the 50 milliliter mark and weigh it again. The number that appears on the scale is the mass of water directly because the balance already subtracted out the weight of the glassware. Each of these should give a mass of 50 grams, but did they? Sadly, no. With the beaker, I got a mass of water that was 46.74 grams, which is over three grams less than it should be. With the Erlenmeyer flask, I got a mass of 60.40 grams, which is even worse. On the other side, it's actually too high. With the graduated cylinder, my mass came out to be 49.89, which now we're getting somewhere, we're getting close to 50. And with the volumetric flask, I got 49.99, which is fantastically close to 50. So what can we learn from this experiment? First, beakers and flasks are terrible at accuracy. Sure, they're great for like dumping stuff in or swishing things around or, um, or doing a titration where your actual volume measurements come from somewhere else like a burette. But if you wanna be accurate when you're making a solutions, do not use one of these. The people who make these generally just slap the numbers on the side and hope they're close. And most of the time, they're not. On the other hand, if you need your measurements to be more accurate and precise, you wanna use a volumetric flask or a graduated cylinder. They both do a really good job. The difference is that the volumetric flask is actually made to have only one little line there. So it has one measurement that you can use it for. So if you need 50 milliliters, this is your guy. On the other hand, a graduated cylinder has lots of little measurements along the way. So you can actually measure anything less than 50 and get a pre pretty reasonable result. Which brings us to the making solutions or dispensing solutions question. When making a solution, which one of these is the best? To make a solution out of a compound that's originally a solid, you first have to calculate how much you need, and then you have to go weigh it out. And you use the balance to weigh it out, and then you have to dissolve it in some water and then fill it up to the mark, uh, which is the volume that you want. The best tool for this job is a volumetric flask because they're made to be super accurate. And if you have a volumetric flask that is the volume that you need, then this is your guy. If you need something less than that, you may also use a graduated cylinder, although it's a little bit clunkier in terms of stirring it and mixing it. But what if your solution is already made and you need to dispense some of it? Sure, a volumetric flask and a grad cylinder are well suited for the job, but we have a couple of other tools at our disposal as well. First, the burette. Burettes are awesome for accuracy because they're made very, very carefully. Plus, you can dispense any quantity you need, for example, doing a titration, and keep accurate track of how much actually went into your flask. Second, the volumetric pipette. These are also made to be extremely accurate. And just like the volumetric flask, there is only one usable marking on these. 
so you're limited to one measurement per pipette. However, if it is the volume that you need, a pipette is a wonderful choice. A final note, many pieces of glassware have their uncertainty actually printed on it. Sometimes this is labeled as the tolerance as well. This beaker and this flask, for example, have, a, have an accuracy to within only plus or minus 5%. And if you want an accurate solution, that's, that's not gonna cut it. On the other hand, this graduated cylinder has a tolerance of 0.4 milliliters, which means if I measure to the nearest milliliter, I might be off by 0.4 milliliters in either direction, but we're getting somewhere at least at this point. This flask, one of my favorites, has, is a 2000 milliliter volumetric flask, and it has a tolerance of 0.5 milliliters. So if I measure out 2000 milliliters, I know I'm pretty close to 2000 with plus or minus five milliliters. Uh, with plus or minus 0.5 milliliters, that's a very small amount of error. So as you go through your chemistry travels and you need to work with solutions, take the time to thoughtfully consider which piece of glassware is best suited for the job. If you don't need to be accurate, sure, a beaker and an Erlenmeyer flask might do the job, but if you want to be accurate, choose something with a little more accuracy built in, like a volumetric flask or a beerette.